hello, welcome to Big Smile Reviews. Today we're going to be having a look at Resident Evil Wii Edition Secrets. Yes, we're going to have a look at what exactly do you unlock once you finish this great adventure. Once you finish the main adventure, you unlock loads and loads of stuff. And now we're going to have a look at what it actually is. Sorry about that. Anyway, now this right here, what we're going to see is it's called Assignment Adder. Here you're running around as Adder and you have to gun down these scumbags, these dirty scumbags. You have to gun them down, kill them. You have to find these five blaggers and then Wesker's going to come down and save you. So let's have a look at some of this gameplay. Very nice. You see that? Okay, now this guy... Okay, now this scumbag is coming up, but we gun him down. That's right. Now let's jump down and let's meet those scums. <laughs> you see that? You blow them away really nicely. Now tell me, doesn't Ada look good when she's gunning down these scums? You shoot him in the head, you see? That's the whole point. Blowing their heads off. I just want to take something a bit more powerful now. Die in hell! You see that? You send them to hell. That's the main point of the game. So how good is it to shoot these bad guys with Ada? Well, I've got to tell you, seeing Ada with a machine gun is actually a lot better, better than seeing Leon with a machine gun. Ada looks really nice. And when she's gunning down all those bad guys, like... It looks amazing, trust me, it's worth playing that main adventure just to play as Ada. How, how good is it to sniper these guys' heads off with Ada? Again, it's amazing. Ada looks amazing when she's holding that sniper, aiming for some scumbag's head and going, pull, blowing his head off. It's just a nice feeling to have to play as this very nice lady. No, I'm leaving Leon to Krauser. Hurry up and retrieve the sample. Maybe you forgot, Wesker. I don't always play by your rules. See that? Now that is hot! So as you can see, Ada can also buy these weapons just like Leon. Okay, now let's go to some action. As you can see, Ada's just as good at killing these motherfuckers. See that? You take the heads off, and they're dead. Now to send them to hell even faster, you can blow up some of these barrels with fuel in them so they blow up. I like when she swings like that with her leg, it's really nice. So you see, when you're playing as Addy, you get to see her swing her legs and everything. Really, really nice lady she is. Really nice lady to play as as well. And this is of course separate ways. And what you have to do here is you gotta shadow Leon. You're kind of like his backup. Now, guess who rang the bell in the beginning of Resident Evil? It was Ada. She rang the bell and that's she helped Leon progress in the game. And she actually does that quite a lot. And once you'll be playing as Ada, you're gonna get to see the whole story, this whole Resident Evil amazing story from Ada's point of view because you don't get to see it as you, if, when you play as Leon there's a whole new kind of background secret story going on behind what Leon doesn't even know about and that's what you're gonna find out about you're gonna find out exactly what's going on behind the scenes when you play as Ada <laughs> She's 
a lady, but this lady can kick some ass. <laughs> Another thing that I like about separate ways and playing as Adam is that when you're playing as Leon, you're kind of like this really nice, good guy. But when you're when you're playing as Adam, you're, you're kind of on the West Coast side, you see. So you're, you're kind of like this bad person this time. You don't have to go around with Ashley. You don't have to save her. So you're like on your own. It's very action-packed. You can. She's actually very good at running. So you don't have to use so many bullets. You can run away a lot more. A bit. The boss fights are a bit different. Lots of amazing surprises. You see that? You blow them and blow them away like so. You run up really close to them. It doesn't matter if you try to move out of the way because they have no chance. Picking up bullets is very important here. Kicking their heads off is also good. And this is exactly what you do, you see, you run around collecting these hourglasses to extend your time and stuff. Okay, let's have a look at something very exciting now. This is the mercenaries. This is probably the best thing that you can unlock in this entire game. Now, the mercenaries is basically this four different locations from the game, and you only have a few minutes, so you have to get these hourglasses to extend your playing time. Now, in this few minutes, you have to kill as many enemies as, as possible, so basically just run your round, going... And the aim is just to blow their heads off, because you have to kill them as fast as possible, you have to save as many bullets as possible, because there's not that many bullets, and you gotta stay alive. And you always have to move around, always have to kill them, always shoot their heads off, like boo, 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 boo. You see that? He's down the floor, finish him off. And when you see those enemies down on the floor dying, you just come up to them and you shoot them again until they go to hell. I like it how, even when you blow their heads off, they're still walking around and trying to get you. I mean, how does that work? They've got no head, for God's sake. Now you gotta be careful with this guy. See that he's a big guy, but don't worry, you can kill him. They all, they all die, it's just a amount of bullets that you put inside their head. Sometimes it's one bullet, sometimes it's ten bullets. So tell me, does that look exciting or what? Amazing, huh? Um, do you like Ada? What do you think of Ada? She's hot, isn't she? She's really hot. It's nice that we can play as Ada. She's great. Thank you very much for watching this big, smart, secret, special edition review. Bye.